only Trini would rock up in a gorgeous white cab. Seriously, it's almost like she planned it. Here she comes. Don't look at the bags. I cannot see your bags. I can only see your face. Hello, love. Hello, darling. Hello, you love. So well. <laughs> you, look so well. you really look so well. Say hello to the people. It's the hello, opening people. of the vlog. We'll talk to them that later. Camera. That's so fabulous. I love that. There camera. you go. Fantastic. So Trini's here, and here's my boy. As in son, not husband. That would be weird calling him my boy. With my makeup. Thanks, son. Where are you off to? Right, we are prepping to go live. Delightful. Chloe's getting her hair out the way. Caroline. Trini's typing. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Um, um, and I'm going to pick Chloe's face. Joining us. That'll joining be fun. us. Well, that was fun. Um, I just got in from Trini's house. I'm going to have dinner. I'm so hungry. Um, thank you to those of you who joined in and all your questions. And thank you to Chloe for letting me stab her face. Um... I have other bits to sort of tell you, but I'm not, they're not quite ready yet. So maybe they will be by the end of this vlog. Anyway, um, I, what have I got on? Do you know what? I don't know why I get to the point where I turn the camera and go, oh, what am I doing tomorrow? I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I never remember. Yes, I do. Tomorrow I'm filming. It's Tuesday. I'm going to try and film tomorrow. So I'm going to tie my hair up and see if I can keep this blow dry until tomorrow. I'm worried I'll wake up and I'll just look like Stevie Nicks after she's been on some kind of binge in the 70s rather than nice wavy. Anyway, um, I will see you tomorrow when I am filming. See, the brain is working. And what else am I doing? I don't know. It is always so inspirational spending time with Trini. She is a force of nature. She is go, go, go. There are so many things going on and so many exciting things going on um, that I kind of come home thinking I really need to up my game. There's so much stuff I've got on my to-do list. I should be getting that stuff done. And you? Yeah, see you tomorrow. Mans! Yes! Back in the vlog. I don't swear. People are haranguing me in your comments about not knowing that lady's name from... Are they? Mariska Hargita, you still don't know it. Margarita. Margarita, which I think Mariska Hargita would approve of. So Margarita. Sorry. I'm so sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Mariska. 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 It's just, I knew it was an M and I wasn't. She was close. At least I didn't say Molly. Molly. Mabel. 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 <laughs> you know, we see Mabel. I love that name, but I don't see Star of SBU. I love the name Mabel. Hi, Mabel. So I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, here's the joy. You're going to get more of I've got my coat back on because it's freezing. It's not freezing, it's beautiful temperature. You've got more mans this week because we're going to Dublin this weekend. Might be some troughing action. Oh! <laughs> right, I just had a facial with Teresa in her new abode. She's in there faffing about. She could be following me out in a minute. This place, oh my god, I will obviously put a link, but it is a house Ooh! in West London. It is, to say it's spectacular, is a bit of an understatement. Oh, here she comes, Lolly Loggins behind me. Look at this place. Now, I've always said, if your hands ever fail you, love, you've got a career as an interior designer. Look, look, look at this. Look, look at this. I, just, I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to show you the loo. Can we talk about the loo? Look. Oh. Look, here's reception. Yeah, just your average reception room. How proud of you. Look at this. Oh, look. It's like Downton Abbey does facials with a little bit of modern art thrown in. Look. So, if you're in a West London zone and you're in the mood for a facial people, as always, Teresa's details are on my blog. Look. Oh, I could actually live here. I could just have this room and this sofa. I said, I walked in and I said, she's got the sofa I always wanted because I don't have room in the house. Well done, lady. Oh, dear. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't turned the camera on since I was in Teresa's office. Um, clinic, not office. Um, I then went from there straight to Josh Wood in uh, Notting Hill, Holland Park, had a lovely blow dry with Nicholas, who I'm obsessed with, 
um, went home, grabbed my stuff, came to the office, filmed a video that's going up tomorrow night, which you will have seen by the time this goes up. And I've just edited it at the office, which is my new rule is to try and film one, edit one, and then maybe film some backup. I'm not gonna do that this week because I move into my new office next week, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> um, so I'll have much more room and I just wanna do, I've just got lots of plans for things that are coming up. So, I did it again, I said so, I say it all the time. I'm really trying to not go, so. I really wanna say it now, I just wanna go, so. Moving on, I'm gonna go home. Uh, Ava is out with Jim tonight looking at something and then I am gonna sit in front of the sofa, eat dinner, reply to the emails I haven't been able to reply to today because I've had sort of an out and about day in filming and things. And then, oh my God, I can't even, I'm so excited about moving offices that I can't put it into words. I've got both trays in again, so I'm very, sorry. I will check in with you tomorrow. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I cannot remember, this is the way it always is with me. But I do know I'm going to Dublin on Friday, so at least my brain is partially working. Hello, on Thursday, I, uh, I am wearing the same top. And it's the same blow dry, but it's different lip and it's a different day. Creature of habit. I am going to the West End to meet Carissa, who is the founder of Hourglass, which I'm very excited about. It's one of my favourite, all-time favourite makeup brands, and I've never met her before. And then after that, I'm surprising the guys at the Pixie Retail Conference, um, all of the staff, by basically getting in their faces. <laughs> and I think we're going for dinner, which is lush, because they're always, always so much fun when we get together. So, actually, I get like three whole days, almost two days, with Amanda um, and the Pixie crew, so that's always good fun. And I have no idea what else I'm doing tomorrow, but I'm sure I'll do what I usually do and turn the camera on and go, oh, I remember. I remember, I'm in Ireland. Um, happy Saturday from Dublin. So Amanda and I flew in last night. We had a massive delay. We didn't get to our hotel until after midnight. Um, and the next thing I remember, my alarm went off at seven something. And you know, when you, your alarm goes off and you're like, no, please, please no, please more. So we've just had breakfast, she's popped out to the shop. We're gonna congregate in my room, I'm gonna do my hair and makeup, and then we are doing an event at Arnott's in the city centre, <clears throat> which proves, it's promising to be um, much bigger than we had anticipated. I think last count they were expecting about 700 people. Right, Amanda and I are backstage in Arnott's. We're in an upstairs corporate meeting room, which is, just, as when we came in, I said, that's the closest we'll get to corporate. Um, I realised that I hadn't filmed since I think Thursday and here's why. <laughs> uh, Monty went missing. Now if you're new, Monty is not my child, he's my fur baby so it's even worse. He... <laughs> what is she doing? Yeah. Mon can you see that? Monty is my cat. And he was last seen at six o'clock yesterday morning. He did not return to the house. I had to leave to come to the airport. Amanda and I were sitting in the airport and I've I got a picture popped up on the camera of Jim gleefully holding him like, he's home! We don't know what happened. We're taking him to the vet this morning to make sure he's okay because he hadn't been in to eat. So that's how we know something was up. So Monty went missing, hence there was no vlogging from me because I was a frantic mother all day. Then our flight was delayed. It's very bright, but- How delayed was it though? We were, we, we got to the hotel what? seven hours after we left London. Yes, that's right. Then when we got to Dublin, no lie, the queue for immigration was worse than JFK on a bad day. <laughs> and they said, I said to the guy, how many flights have you just had in? And he said, oh, about 12. Excuse the accent, I'm sorry. Then we come outside to get a taxi because it's one in the morning. How many people in the queue for the taxi, Amanda? About 2,000. Literally, make sure you added an extra zero, but literally 200 people, the line went down and all the way back up and duplicated itself. So that's where we've been. Then we went to bed, not together, that's a whole different kind of video. <laughs> <laughs> and when my alarm went off, I was like, oh please God, no. <laughs> then we had a full Irish breakfast in terms of I drank more tea than I thought was physically possible. She's on the double espressos. And they told us we're not allowed on the shop floor because they're worried, uh, quote, about our safety, which I only see as fun because God bless the Irish, but um, in a good way because they've had eight, seven times as many applicants as there are seats on the ground floor at the moment. And I'm not going to lie, I just said I don't care as long as we Can get them to sell more people than Millie McIntosh because she's on after us. <laughs> that's without the plus ones. And that's without the plus ones. Yeah. 
so we could have a situation on our hands, which is going to be fun. So we're going to sit here and divvy up what we're actually going to do when Morecambe and Wise are on stage, which is just us two doing skincare. Yeah. And then, here's the best bit, because we think on our feet. Yeah. We finish at two, yeah. then there's a huge repeal the eighth march in, I in Dublin at two. Yeah. So we'll finish at two, everyone will leg it out to do the march, because I've already been said, but people have already said to us on Twitter, girls, don't be offended if we leave early, we've got to get to the march, and we're like, you go girls. Yeah. But we don't fly until eight o'clock tonight, which gives us a whopping three or four hours to do Dublin and find some scram. So we can get our troffage on. Troffage on. Troffage. Those of you who saw, saw the LA Diaries will remember the troffage with Amanda and I. Yeah. And we're very excited. But it, basically, we both have decided we would move to London, uh, to Dublin. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, happily. We love the Irish, and now we're waiting for our drinks. This is Amanda's version of Monty. I'm gonna drop a picture in of Monty just to reassure you that he's much more attractive. <laughs> than this. And Monty just never looks that happy. He's a grumpy old git. Monty is the Larry David of cats. <laughs> Mighty pretty Dublin. Also, don't start with all the locks on the bridge, it's what destroys them. That's not what inspires people. <laughs> Hi Dublin. We're in the lounge with a, the biggest brew ever. Don't judge how tired I look. I'm knackered. Thank you to Arnott's for having us and thank you to everyone who stood for ages waiting afterwards. We've had a much more peaceful Saturday than we did Friday. So the universe is making up, making it up to us now because we're in a lovely lounge with tea and crisps and popcorn <laughs> and Pointless is on in the background. And they moved our flight to an earlier flight so we get home an hour earlier. Thank God for getting to the airport on time. And tomorrow we're going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing tomorrow? There's Amanda. Uh, soup. Um... I'm just going to rest. Yeah. Terrorized. Say hello to our cats and kids. Yeah. I also am going to bollock Monty, who frankly is never leaving the house again. Could have been a very different journey had Monty not turned up yesterday or rocked up. I'll put the picture in <laughs> of the cat's face when Jim sent me a picture going, he's home, we found him, we found him. And me and Amanda screamed and then FaceTimed with him in the lounge. <laughs> But isn't it, you can tell you're a family of cat lovers and animal lovers when you text the family and say, find Monty, I need to FaceTime him. And you FaceTime know, your cat. Not one person questioned Caroline and her family. There wasn't one person who was like, <laughs> oh mum, come on. Everyone was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got to FaceTime, Monty's yeah. got to FaceTime mum. So I'm going home to see my cat. And at some point I'll say hello to the husband and kids too, but it's mainly about the cats. Thank you. 